Never Stop Learning Week 313. We're going to take a quick look at undos, stepping back, and stepping forward in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so these functions are going to allow you to move backwards or forwards through different history states as you're creating something in Photoshop. All right, so over here at the top in the edit menu, all of us are familiar with undo. And the keyboard shortcut for that is going to be Command Z on a Mac, Control Z on a PC. But we also have these other functions. We have a step forward and we have a step backward. Now, all of these have their own keyboard shortcuts to them. And as you find yourself using them more, you want to commit those keyboard shortcuts to memory. All right, so I'm going to hide this. And what I want to do is just make some changes in here so that uh, we'll be able to have something to play with. All right, so currently I'm targeting the text that says Sebastian Bleak. All right, what I want to do is actually change this font to a different font. All right, so there's a change. Now let's make a change to this artwork. I'm going to bring this Twitch logo up. I'm going to grab the Twitter logo, bring it down here to the bottom, and then do the same thing with the YouTube logo. All right, over here in the Layers panel, I'm going to grab the entire group, then hit Command-T so that I can make a transformation. All right, over here in the top right corner, I'm going to click and drag. I want to hold down the shift key to keep things nice and proportional. And if I introduce the option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, I'll be able to grow from the center. All right, so that looks pretty good. Reposition. And I'm just going to hit enter or return on my keyboard to accept that change. Last thing I want to do is add an adjustment, just a little funky adjustment. I'll switch the hue. So that way it looks completely different. All right, there we go. So we made a bunch of changes. Now back over here at the top in the edit menu. Notice the first one we have is undo, and it also tells us what we're gonna undo. Currently it says undo modify hue saturation layer. All right, we don't have access to step forward because we haven't moved back. All right, and then we have step backward. All right, so I'm gonna hit escape to get out of that. I wanna use the keyboard shortcut. If I hit command Z, it's gonna undo. If I hit command Z again, it's going to show, it's going to actually move forward. So we're toggling back and forth between the previous step and our current step. All right, so here's the, uh, the after, and here's the before, and here's the after again. So here we're switching between two different states. All right, let's go back over here to the edit menu. Over here at the top, the next one that we have access to is actually step backward. All right, so I'm going to click on that one, and it steps back one. It kind of looks like the undo. But check this out. If I hit Command Option Z again, I go back another step, another step, and I'll just keep going back until I get to my starting point. All right, back over here in the Edit menu. Now we have access to Step Forward, and the keyboard shortcut for that is Command Shift Z. If you're using a PC, it's going to be Control Shift Z. All right, clicking on that once is going to move uh, one step forward. But I don't want to keep digging in that Edit menu. All right, so I'm going to hit Command, Shift, Z. I'll just keep hitting that keyboard shortcut until I get back to my final state. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at undos, stepping back, and stepping forward in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.